All right, I'm in the long-term storage room here at the hospital. It's after hours, so it's a bit of a mess. But this is where, traditionally, the slides came in on these, the uh, trays, we call them, and would be manually sorted into numerical ascending order. From here, they'd be placed into the long-term storage boxes. This is one of the older ones. Traditionally, this was a very time-consuming and uh, troublesome task where slides would often get misfiled and in the wrong order. Here are some of the boxes that have been put through our machine. So we identify it with the year and box number, and then there's the order of the magazines. So that in our machine, when you search, it'll tell you not only what year, what box, which magazine. So say, in this case, it was in box number seven, magazine two. It would tell you, here's magazine two. So now you would pull this, and you can see exactly which section and which slide that it is. So you can retrieve it almost immediately. The retrieval time itself doesn't really change so much between this style and this style, the new style, until you can't find the slide that you're looking for. Then you're playing the needle in a haystack game. All right, we're back here in the uh, processing lab. So these were the trays that you saw earlier, so in the past they would have had to been each taken and put into order. But as you can see, they don't come back in order. Here's 8129, 8135, 8190, 8101, 8076. So to try to put these in order would take forever. Now, all you do, the operator, just load them into the load lane. Doesn't matter what order they go in. Generally, when the cases come back, they want to keep them together by case number, but it doesn't really matter all too much. This is remarkably tricky with one hand. So as these cases get processed through, now, because they're not being stored in order, you don't have to spend all that time sorting and organizing because the machine does it for you. So as it's processing them, it's going to look for key identifiers, it can identify pediatric samples, it can identify cytology, positives versus negatives, and sort them accordingly. Here in Canada, standard slides need to be kept for 20 years, whereas a negative cytology slide would only need to be kept for 5 years, and a pediatric slide would be kept for 50 years. Obviously you don't want all of those being stored in the same long-term storage magazine because then you're going to have to keep them all for 50 years.